Hi everyone. This is the story of the jumping mouse part 1. Once there was a small mouse with a big dream. The small mouse had grown up listening to the elders tell wonderful stories about the far off land. Now, the small mouse lived in the brush near the sparkling river. On the other side of the sparkling river was the dry desert. The small mouse had been told that the far off land was on the other side of the dry desert. Although the mouse was small, he was brave. He intended to go to the far off land. One day, he said goodbye to his family and friends and set off. His first challenge was to find a way to cross the big sparkling river. As he stared at the lapping water, a frog appeared beside him. You'll have to swim, said the frog. I don't know what you mean," replied the small mouse, for he had never swum before. "Watch me," said the frog. And with that, the frog jumped into the sparkling river and began to swim. The small mouse watched the frog for several seconds before announcing, "I'm afraid I cannot do that. I'll have to find another way to cross the sparkling river." The frog returned to the edge of the river. "Why are you so determined to cross the sparkling river? Where are you going?" asked the frog. "I'm going to the far-off land," replied the small mouse. "If you don't mind my saying, you are a very small mouse to cross such a big river and travel such a long distance to the far-off land." The frog stared at the small mouse for a short time, and seeing that he could not be swayed from following his plan, he decided to help the small mouse. "This is your lucky day," exclaimed the frog. "I am a magic frog, and I will help you." I name you Jumping Mouse. You will soon discover that you can jump higher than you ever jumped before. Follow me, Jumping Mouse, and I will take you across the sparkling river. With that said, the frog and the jumping mouse jumped very high and landed on a leaf in the middle of the sparkling river. They floated on the leaf to the other side of the sparkling river. Goodbye, my friend," said the frog. "Be brave and hopeful, and you will surely reach the far-off land." Thank you," replied the jumping mouse. "I will never forget your kindness." Jumping mouse set off across the dry desert. He jumped across stones and twigs on his strong legs. As the frog had promised, jumping mouse jumped higher than ever before. He traveled by day and by night, stopping only to eat berries wherever he found them. Eventually, jumping mouse came to a stream. The stream gave light to this part of the dry desert. Beside the stream grew many bushes. Underneath one of the bushes, there lived a very fat mouse. "Good day to you," the fat mouse said to the jumping mouse. "Good day," replied the jumping mouse. "Where are you going?" asked the fat mouse. "To the far-off land," explained jumping mouse. However, I would like to rest a while and eat some of the juicy berries that grow on the bushes beside the stream. Be my guest," said the fat mouse. Jumping mouse stayed with the fat mouse for several days. He ate berries and drank from the cool stream. Before long, he felt rested and ready to continue his journey. It is time for me to continue my journey," said the jumping mouse one day. "Why would you want to travel to a place?" You're not sure even exists. Stay here with me, where you can eat berries and drink from the stream to your heart's content. But if you must go, be very careful, for the journey will be perilous indeed for such a small mouse," warned the fat mouse. "I will be careful, and I will find a way to pay for it the kindness you and the frog have shown me. Thank you for your generosity," replied the jumping mouse. As his powerful legs carried him away, with hope in his heart, Jumping Mouse continued on his way. And that, my friends, is the end to the story of the Jumping Mouse Part One. The Jumping Mouse will see you next time.